welcome back to my channel. My name's Abby and today I'm back for another what I eat in a day video. I am working on like intuitively eating, slightly like monitoring my calories just just to see, just to try a few things. Um, I'm wearing my Fitbit again to see how many calories I burn. I don't plan on going to the gym today so I'm curious to see how many I burn just like hanging out. Um, but like I said, I I'm just like moderately calorie counting. Like I'm just curious. I'm playing around. I don't want to track anything forever. So I'm just kind of dabbling in a couple different things. Um, but I just want to do a little like weigh in chat to give you a little update on all of that. So let me get on to my WW app. Okay, so the last, let's just let's rewind to before Christmas. So on December 5th. I weighed in at 154.8, which was my lowest, and had me down 30.6 pounds. Woo um, and then I did not track for the rest of December. Um, I don't really even know why I didn't track the next week. But like the following week was the week where I thought I maybe had COVID. It was my mom's birthday. And then the week after that was leading up to Christmas. And then I weighed in on January 2nd. And I had gained 4.2 pounds. I might have talked about that in another video. But I gained 4.2 pounds over Christmas. Which I didn't feel like was that bad. And I know if I would have gotten right back on track, I probably would have lost it within the next week or two. But that didn't happen. Um, and then the next week on January 9th, I gained 0.8 pounds. And so that brought me up to like a 5 pound gain from the beginning of December. And then I just weighed in this morning. It's January 16th. Um, and I lost 0.2 pounds. So I'm glad it's a loss. Um, I know it's not very much, but a loss is a loss and it's something. And I feel pretty good because the majority of the week I didn't eat well. Like I basically ate well Sunday when I filmed and Thursday and Friday. I filmed yesterday. Um, so honestly, I feel pretty good. I did go to the gym three times. I've said this before, but my weeks go Saturday to Saturday because I weigh in on Saturday. So last week I worked out Saturday, Thursday, and Friday. And this week I plan on going tomorrow and Tuesday, Thursday workout class. So I'm going to get three in this week. I feel like my mind's kind of shifted in terms of eating. Like I am getting a grocery haul today and I have some candies in there. I really feel like I'm going to be able to handle them being in the jar now. I don't know why. I just... I really just feel better and feel different. I just wanted to give you a little weigh-in update. I think I'm going to start doing these once a week. Um, this video is going to come out on a Saturday, but then after this, I think I'm going to be doing these every Wednesday, like weigh-in chat Wednesdays. They're going to be filmed on either Saturday or Sundays, but um, I'm going to put, post them on Wednesdays. Is that something you guys would be interested in? I feel like if I'm on here once a week, telling you my weight it'll help keep me more accountable so is that something you'd be interested in yes no let me know um that's all i really have to say for now so let's go downstairs and i'm gonna start getting my breakfast cooked and i'm baking something for breakfast today so i'll show you what that is when it's ready and i'm gonna go throw that in the oven read my bible and then i will get back at you once my breakfast is done Great, I kind of forgot I was filming for a second, but here is breakfast. These are the Pillsbury cinnamon rolls with icing, and I'm just I just made a little green drink. This is about 14 ounces of water, a scoop of Volani greens, and a scoop of Volani collagen, and then these two little cinnamon rolls. Happy Saturday, friends. Okay, friends, I just got back from Walmart, and this is everything that I got. I was getting close to my limit for the month, so I just got enough groceries to last me the next two weeks. Um, so I'm really trying to stay in my budget, and so this is everything I got to last me a couple weeks. Um, I got some bacon, got a couple frozen veggies. These are just the um, frozen chopped onions for cooking, but I got two bags of just different veggies, trying to incorporate those more. Um, I just needed some more mayonnaise. I got Hellman's Light. Two half gallons of unsweetened almond milk. They didn't have a whole gallon of the great value kind. So I just got two halves. And then I got some more yogurts. Um, I got the strawberry and blueberry kind. Now this is different. I was eating the great value ones. But they substituted for this light and fit. So we'll see if I like it. I'm sure it'll be fine. Um, well, this is just some dry shampoo. So I've been using this the last week or so. And it's nice because it doesn't leave as much white residue as the batiste brand does so those have been good so i got two of those um i just got some like honey nut o's for my cereal 
here. Here's my candy. So I went with the milk chocolate peanut butter this time. So let's hope I can get this candy jar under control. Um, okay, we'll go to that in a second. Um, okay, so I got some Quip Sprite and sugar-free chocolate cake mix. I'm going to be making um, a cake out of all this later. So I'll be back for that in a little bit. And then I just got some Doritos and bananas. So that was everything from Walmart. And then at Aldi, I ran to Aldi because Walmart did not have any plain Greek yogurt. And I really wanted to make two ingredients two ingredient dough pizzas sometime this week. So I went to Aldi to get that and then I picked up some cuties. And then I just got these animal crackers because these are the best animal crackers. If you have an Aldi near you, go see if you can find these animal crackers. So good. And then I just got another bag of chips um, to get me through two weeks. I was trying to get like one bag per week. So since I have two weeks, I need two bags of chips. So I grabbed another one. That is everything. So I am going to um, put all this away and then get my lunch started. So I'll be back to show you that. All right, friends, so for lunch, I'm gonna make one of those TikTok wraps. Um, I don't know if you've seen them where you put like stuff on each corner and then fold it all over and then cook it in like one of those like George Foreman grills or whatever. Um, but I have the chicken cooked on there already. So I just have two of the Simply Smart Organics chicken breast tenders, the gluten-free ones. I just, those are, I just grabbed them. I didn't really realize they were gluten-free, but those are the ones that I have on today. And then, so I'm gonna add some Bold House Ranch mild cheddar and some spinach and then i'm also going to add one slice of the bacon i just got in my grocery haul i cooked all that up um so i'm going to set up the camera and kind of show you how i do all so i totally thought i was recording but i had the ranch already so i'm not actually going to put anything in this bottom corner because when you fold it over whatever's in this corner just goes on top of what's in this corner so i'm just going to put what was supposed to be in this corner right here. So let me show you everything I'm gonna put in this little corner right here. So I already spread out a little bit of ranch, about half a tablespoon-ish, I would say. And then I'm gonna put some of the cheese. I'm gonna stick the cheese onto the ranch to kind of help it stick to the tortilla because the cheese likes to fall out when you fold it. So I've perfected that this week. I've made, I think this is the third one of these I've made. Um, okay. So there's some cheese. Next I'm going to, so I was gonna just put the bacon in this corner, but I'm just gonna stick it right on top of the cheese and ranch. And then in this last corner, I'm just gonna put a little bit of spinach. Okay, I feel like that's good, so let's fold it. So I'm gonna fold the back forward. Fold to the side. And then I think I have like a little bit too much chicken and then you're just gonna fold it down. And then I like to give it a nice little smush for good measure. And then I do not have one of those little little grill things. So this is how I've been cooking mine. Let me show you. I have been cooking mine in my Mickey waffle maker and it's been working great. Uh, I get a little Mickey imprint on my wrap and it's glorious. So let's stick it on here. I don't even spray it. I forgot to spray it the first day and then it didn't stick. So I was like, meh, whatevs. And then I just like push it really hard. Come here, it's sizzling. I try to like hold it. Ooh, that's hot. Um, I hold it down for a little bit and then just let it sit by itself and then it takes a couple minutes So I'll be back when it's done and there it is. You can see Mickey's little face in there and It's all wrapped up and these are really really good. Highly recommend totally bomb. You can Customize these and make put anything you want on them. I think they're genius um, So I'm having this a banana and a little bit of Doritos and then one of my Dove candies, the peanut butter kind. Oop. So I'm gonna go just relax for a little bit, eat this, and I'll be back later. Bye. All right, friends, it's been like an hour, hour and a half since I ate lunch, and I'm just still a little bit snacky, so I'm gonna have a little bowl of these animal crackers that I just got from Aldi. You love it. Hey, friends, so here is my dinner for tonight. So I made little um, crescent roll chicken salad sandwiches. So these are just the great value crescent rolls. I made them the other day. Um. So I'm having two of those, and then I put a little bit of chicken salad in them. So the chicken salad, all it is is a can of this chunk chicken breast and some light mayo. I just mixed it all up, added some seasoning, and then I'm just I just stuck it on each little sandwich here. So I'm gonna have those. I'm gonna have a yogurt and granola and two cutie oranges. So that's dinner. Um, I am making um, my dessert. Once I'm done with this, so we will hop back on here and make that. Hey guys, so now I'm going to make the chocolate cake um, from this cake mix that I showed you in the grocery haul. Um, the first step is to preheat your oven to 350 
and so I have mine preheating right now. Um, I should say the link for this recipe I'll put in the description box below. Um, I just Google searched for a chocolate Weight Watcher cake because I was craving that. So let's um, get to doing this first step here. Okay, so basically what you need right now is the sugar-free chocolate cake mix, and then you need 12 ounces of Sprite Zero. So all my Walmart had were these little eight ounce cans. So I just did a can and a half. I measured it in this measuring cup. I don't know if you can see somewhere around there. It says 12 ounces. Um, so that's all you need right now for the first step. And I'm just, I poured the other half of the can in this little cup. I'm just sipping on it while I make this cake. So we're gonna open this box. I never tried the chocolate sugar free cake mix. So I'm excited to taste it. Smells good. Okay, now I'm gonna pour in the Sprite. Yeah, and it just says to stir it up until it's combined. So that's what we'll do. Okay, there it is. I feel like it's mixed up good enough. And then the next step is to get a 13 by nine pan and I sprayed it. And then you just wanna dump in the mix. Okay, I feel like I got most, well, I feel like I got most of it. So now we're just gonna spread it all out. All right, I feel like that's good. Now I'm gonna stick it in the oven, like I said, at 350, and it's gonna cook for 30 to 35 minutes. Um, and then what I'll, I'll probably set the timer for like 32, and then check it with a toothpick, or I don't think I even have, yeah, I do have toothpicks. I didn't have toothpicks, but if you don't have toothpicks, like I didn't used to have toothpicks, you can just stick like a fork down in, and if it comes out clean, then it's done. Um, so I'll check it at 32, but we'll be back once it's all baked and do the next step. All right, friends, the cake is baked. I will show you in a second, but first I'm going to make the, um, like, icing, I guess. Sorry, I'm using <laughs> the same bowl I mixed the cake mix in. I just rinsed it out, and, yeah, I know that's gross, but it's fine. Um, I just don't feel like doing extra dishes. So, first you're going to need a, what are these called? Sugar-free, fat-free, vanilla jello. This is a one-ounce box. Uh, I'm just going to dump that in there. Oh. Okay, and then... You need one cup. Oop, I got more than a cup. I'm gonna pour a little bit back. Okay, you're gonna need about a cup of this is unsweetened almond milk. So one cup of that, and then we're just gonna whisk it. I guess you just whisk it till it gets thick. So I'll be back when it's thick. All right, I feel like it's thick enough. Um, and next we're going to fold in. Some Cool Whip, I got the Cool Whip Light. Um, so it's an eight ounce container. So fold it in, basically just means put it in there and stir it up, pretty much. All right, empty, now I'm gonna mix it. And then I will show you the result. All right, there it is, and not gonna lie, I licked a little bit off my finger and it tastes amazing. So here's the cake. I'm just gonna dump all of the bowl onto the cake and spread it all around and I'll show you when it's done. All right, friends, there it is. So the recipe also says to, um, you can chop up like candies and put it on top. I think the recipe says like Butterfinger, but I'm sure you could pick whatever candy you wanted. But I decided to just not have any candy on top just to save some calories, points, you know, whatever. I'm kind of loosely counting both, like I said this morning. Um, and I decided, the recipe says 24 pieces, but 20, if you cut it into 24, it's one point per slice. If you cut it into 12, like I'm gonna do, it is three points per slice. So I'm gonna go for the 12 slices for three points a piece. So I'm gonna cut myself a little piece. So what I'll probably do, I'll cut it like in half, in half, in half, and then third this way. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'll get myself a little piece and then we will taste test it. Okay, here is my piece. Look how big it is. Like it's a pretty good sized piece. So I'm gonna try a bite for you. Here we go. Mm. Okay, it's not bad. I 
I'm not going to say like I love the chocolate cake flavor. Um, it does taste a little different because you use, you're literally just using Sprite. Um, but it's still pretty cakey. Like, um, there it is. It's really good. It's definitely like something I'll eat for dessert the rest of the week. Um, well, for the next 12 days. Um, it's really good. Icing's really good. Um, I'm not a huge chocolate cake person anyway, so that's why I'm not like obsessed with it right now. But I don't know, I was really craving chocolate cake. So it's really good. Thumbs up. Definitely something that's worth like the three points. And I was, I calculated the calories just to see out of curiosity. And it's about 60 calories for that piece. So yeah. So I'm going to end out this video and then I'm going to go enjoy this on the couch. But recap today, like I did loosely track my points and calories. So I ate, I think it was 60 Weight Watcher points. Yeah, 60 Weight Watcher points, and then I did some calorie tracking on my Fitbit app, and uh, I ate about 1,979 calories, which is basically where I'd want to be anyways. I didn't get a workout in today. Um, but yeah, so I'm feeling pretty good. I am going to play around with the calories, points, intuitive eating um, for this next week. So today is Saturday, and I'm not actually going to be filming another What I Eat in a Day until next weekend, so either Saturday or Sunday, because I'm going to do a weigh-in chat on What I Eat in a Day, because you're going to be seeing this video on a Saturday. So I will have a whole week to try all this stuff out. So by the next time I get on here and talk to you about my weight, my eating, and all that stuff, I'll have had a whole week to kind of play around with things, so I'll definitely give you a big update then. Um... But yeah, that is all I have for you today. So if you did enjoy this video, please give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below. Press that subscribe button if you haven't already. And come find me on Instagram. I post videos on YouTube every Wednesday and Saturday. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye.